Good morning. Hi. Where are we? Uh, well, Beeston's that way, so we're in the slightly better um, internet and telephone communication. Well, we were, we were the other side of that lot. That's Beeston oh, we Stone nothing, Lock. Nothing. And it's about a few hundred yards from Beeston Iron Lock. Um, talk about being in the dark ages. We had no internet signal whatsoever, no television signal whatsoever. So we had to. I, we, we got the piano out, didn't we? No. Singing. I, I, I've got Ethel to, was I, dancing. I, I have got to say though, last night because we literally only had about three or four different channels. We moved. We moved from that below that lock to this lock. Yeah. And we got three Welsh channels, and we spent all night last night watching, watching. <laughs> the masked dancer. Who on earth thought that was a it's, it's idea? Gonna be, I, I swear, it's going to be the masked baker. Anyway, next. can I just say, I guessed Bonnie Langford. What was she? What was she? I can't remember what costume was she, she was. Was she the squirrel? Oh yeah, she looked the same with the, with the costume off as she did with it off. Anyway, we're gonna we're well, gonna. I've had enough now. Come we're on. only we're only going to Nantwich. We're going. We're, we're going but we've home. but we've got Tilston Lock, double lock. Then we've got Bunbury, yeah. and if the higher fleet are out, we'll be all right. But the higher fleet take up all the canal at the bottom lock. So sweetie, let's go. Come with us. Come with us if you're brave enough. So Tom. Yours? So John. Hello. What do you think of the weather today? <coughs> well, is a meteorologist, is that a, what's that, is that something to do with the sky or is that, I don't know. Somebody who follows meteors. Yeah, well, what's a weatherman then? A weatherman. Oh, i Oh, hello. Oh, I can See, play drums. No, 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 no. We can't say Mr. Fish, because it weren't Mr. Fish a bad man. Well, he got it wrong. No, no, but... but he was that? I, I don't know. I, don't know. I might have got that wrong. Who was he that was a bad man? Fred Grenard? You're all about Fred Talbot. Fred Talbot, yeah. I get a bit stuck. I hope no lawyers are watching this. <laughs> no! I just asked you what you thought of the weather today. We didn't want to investigate the criminal records of every t yeah. TV weatherman there ever has been. As far as I know, Jimmy Savile never presented the weather. But anyway, what do you think of the weather today, Tom? <laughs> I think it was it's, it's Hello. quite nice. But right, Ethel doesn't Ethel's. like the boat going fast, and she keeps slowing us down. <laughs> I want my boat. We never go quick anyway. Anyway, but yeah. So it's a bit cooler today. Well, it is, yeah. But the plan is to get to Bar Bridge. Yeah. Well, I'm don't tell everybody the plan. I'm going for a bike ride, what's wrong with He's that? going for a bike ride. Yeah, I'm going for a little bike ride. On that and off. Oh. We apologise to all weather persons and I'm glad we never mentioned my heroine goddess, Wincy Willis. I thought you were going to add a bike. What's the name of that one with the big boobs on BBC? Oh, Carol. Oh, she's amazing. No, no, Win you can't beat Wincy Willis. See, I feel sorry for that Carol because she's being pushed out by that, uh, by that lovely Welshman. Right. Tillstone lock, very pretty. <coughs> Tom's just got off. It's going, it looks full, so I could be here some time. I'll just hover. I'm good at hovering. It's not windy. Uh, we're in Tilston Lock. Sorry, Tilston. That's mixing me, mi mixing me locks up then. Bunbury's the one. Bunbury is the one. And then 
three years ago when we last came down here we said we're never coming to these double locks again and here we are but hopefully we've learnt a lesson so it's all right. they're designed for two boats and two sets of crews how on earth you do these single handed I've got no idea but never mind we aren't Quite a lot of water coming through those gates. Uh, not th not through the paddles, through leakage. It's like a waterfall, and it's the it's the way. The, there was one the other day on the internet. Somebody had sunk a boat because it had overwhelmed the well deck. I mean, we've got a cover on, so that deflected, and we always leave the front door shut. But this is a good example of why a very leaky lock gate can cascade in into your boat and you don't want the water on the inside you want it on the outside Tom is trying to introduce logic to the situation I'm holding us off on the bollard on this side so that he, can, he only needs to open one gate because if you're in one of these locks on your own, you can end up at any angle, any, any angle apart from the one that you want. So well done Tom, logic. Oh, I think it's raining. Uh, Tom's just got off to go to open the bottom lock at Bunbury. Uh, just passing the Anglo-Welsh hire fleet. There's only two, there's only two boats in. We haven't passed any coming that way because it would have been change over day today's Sunday so I can only assume that the rest of them are causing havoc on the land going <laughs> glad we're not on there all right we're in the bottom lock at Bunbury staircase There's a lot of water cascading through those leaking gates, so I'm hoping that that top pan, that top lock is almost full. Because the idea is, you fill that one and empty it into this one. And then we go up, and then we go out. But it doesn't help when the, the gates won't stay shut. Oh well. Hold on to your hat, this could be a white knuckle ride. Nah, it'll be fine. Ooh, this is something we've never attempted before. There's a boat coming in at the top lock, and we're in the bottom lock. Should be fine, should be absolutely fine. <laughs> but we'll see. It's, I mean, it's all right as long as there's only one. If there's two boats trying to get in, it can be done. But I don't want to do it. <laughs> Bunbury shuffle, now. Nah. Right, it's only a 28 foot boat, so I'm squeezing past. There's plenty of room. Yeah, no, plenty of room. We got a, we got a good foot there. Oh, be careful! Should be on your boat.
I'm Jay. So that's partly the bumper shuffle. Well, that was only a 28 foot boat. Easy peasy. So we're just coming up the top lock. That little dinky boat just going down in the bottom lock. And there appears to be a boat heading this way, which means we'll be able to just drive out and leave the gates open. Which is always a bonus. Unless you're just leaving them open because you're lazy, which we never do. Anyway, that's the Bunbury part of a shuffle. Short, short little trip past the Barbridge Junction and we're going to moor there. Uh, and then we'll tell you in the next video what the plan is there is there is a plan but you'll have to wait if you could be bothered if not just just give us one of them thumbs down mind you if you're going to do that you'll have done that in the first 10 seconds <laughs> i'm going now